18-year-old Michael Evans had his whole life ahead of him. He just started college and was starting to be a journalist. When he was murdered, his father, Michael Sr., was devastated. But he didn't give in to his grief. He asked America's Most Wanted to join his fight. I miss Michael's friendship. I miss his love. And I miss his companionship. When, when my son Michael was killed, I cried to the nation. And the nation heard my cry. Knoxville, Tennessee, 1995. Paul DeJong and Anna Warren were new in town. What do you do for me? Anything you want? Uh, I can do that. Twenty-year-old Warren was from Georgia and made her living as a topless dancer. Well, Lise DeJong, also 20, spent most of his time as a small-time thief. Oh, yeah, the couple's apartment became stuff. a crash pad for a number of local teens. One of them was 18-year-old Mike Evans. Police say Anna was getting fed up with Paul and his friends always hanging out at their place. He and his friends have been spending entirely too much time here. With my machine, eating all our food. Yes, how long I think you like Mike better than you like me? Oh, you know that ain't true, Anna. Oh, I know. I can see with my own two eyes. What do you want me to do about this? I'm not asking you to put them out. Of course, if you loved me, I wouldn't have to ask. After months of loud music and all-night parties, Paul and Anna were sent an eviction notice. Early in the morning on January 21st, Mike Evans stopped by Paul and Anna's apartment. It is you and your friends' fault that we got kicked out of here. And by the way, when is the last time you bought a loaf of bread. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Look, let's just sit down and make up a grocery Oh, please, that is not good enough. The three argued for several hours. Then Anna stormed to her room. Turn the stereo back on. What? You heard me. Lise DeJong then shot Mike several times. Knoxville police didn't know the motive for Mike's murder. They couldn't offer Mike's father an explanation for this senseless crime. When Michael came to the world, I gave him my name, looking towards posterity that he could carry it on, never realizing that it would be cut short. Burying my son is the worst thing that could happen. Anna Warren was arrested on June 18th in Portland, Oregon, but DeJong was still nowhere to be found. That's when we asked for your help. An individual saw the America's Most Wanted program on Paul DeJong, so he put two and two together after seeing uh, America's Most Wanted show and gave us a call. The tipster said DeJong was working at this construction site outside Atlanta, so FBI agents along with local detectives rushed to the scene. We came in two vehicles, stopped our vehicle right here. I got out that side, came around here. He was standing right here. As soon as he saw the vehicle come up, he took off running as fast as he could up the stairwell. Four of us chased him up through the front door. He ran through the house and jumped off the back porch. Zhang then made a break for the woods. But Detective Weston was laying in wait. I drew my weapon and, and told him um, to get on the ground, get on the ground. And I was about hand reach away from him, and he had turned around and seen me reaching for him and saw the gun, and, and uh, he hit the ground, and I hit the ground with him. DeJong was taken into custody. Agents say he waived extradition and will be returning to Knoxville to face murder charges. For Mike Sr., life can now begin to go on. The fact that Paul has been captured is a tremendous release for the whole family. For this person who had the courage to come forth, God bless you, and I sincerely thank you for your efforts. I think Michael is saying they have not forgotten me. I believe that his spirit is in joy, that his life was not taken in vain. When we come back, an innocent man has a date with danger. <laughs>